Now, both the Harris and the Trump campaigns have been courting the critical Gen Z voters, ages 18 to 29. In fact, there are 41 million eligible Gen Z voters, so they could move the needle for either candidate. An NBC News Stay Tuned poll found that 84 percent of Gen Z adults are likely to vote. And joining us now is Isaac Winkler of Minnesota, a Gen Z first-time voter. We first spoke with him in August when he was the youngest delegate at the uh, Democratic National Convention. And Isaac, you turned 18 just a few days ago, like this past weekend. You voted for the first time this morning. Talk to us about what that was like. Well, it was just an incredible experience. I got to go back to my old elementary school where I cast my first ever vote for Kamala Harris, and I just couldn't be more excited to have the privilege of doing something like that. Isaac, we spoke about this in, in August a little bit, but what made you want to get involved? Why become part of the American political process? Well, for me, I have type 1 diabetes, and what Kamala Harris has done, uh, during the Joe Biden presidency and promising through her campaign going forward of capping the cost of insulin uh, is incredibly important to me. And that's an issue I think that might not be at the forefront of a lot of people's minds, but it's something that really drives me. What is your message to younger people who are, are considering sitting this election out? I would say that Donald Trump tried to take away your voice on January 6th, and you cannot let that happen. Voting is the most basic form of democracy, and as young people, it's your right, and you must get out to vote. I'm speaking directly to all young people right now. Now is the time to vote. Kamala Harris is the candidate for you. She is for the future, and she wants to build an America for everybody. And Isaac, how, how, when you look at your future and your dreams and your aspirations, are you hopeful about the future of our country? I'm incredibly hopeful about the future. Um, I think what Kamala Harris is doing to build for the future, both through uh, policy regarding climate change, as well as uh, gun control and uh, other issues, uh, building for the future, I think that uh, it's a world where everybody can be inclusive, and that's something uh, that really touches me. Isaac Winkler, thank you so much for joining us. Again, one of the youngest voters in this election.